So I have a couple sample sources set up, so let's add them. We're going to go to Window Capture, and we'll do the first one will be Fruit Loops. Select OK. Select our window. Got to bring it up here. Refresh. There it is, Studio. And we want to capture the cursor. Any layered windows. And we will turn the gamma up a bit. I usually run the gamma a little bit brighter because it seems like on the streams they get a little bit darker. Um, let's see. No opacity. And I think that's it. We'll select OK. Hit Preview Stream. And there we are. Now, if you remember, I said that I turned the um, settings on that up a little bit. Let's see if I can readjust that. Properties. If I turn it back down, see how much darker that gets? And it's probably the exact same color as this here, but it just looks darker to me. So usually I always run everything like 125. So I just brighten it up a hair, unless it's a game. Um, games I don't, but everything else I brighten it up a hair. Now, after I have something... I call it imported, imported into my scene. I can't click on it. See, this this just don't work here. But I can go to edit scene, and when I click on edit scene once, it brings up these little dog tags, and you can drag it out to a larger area. Now I'm full screen technically, but if I even wanted to go larger, I can zoom in even further. See, I can get pretty close, and I can even move it around. So if I wanted to, I could just capture just a piece of that and leave it right there. Once when I've got it in place, I click Edit Scene, and now I can't drag it again. If I want to move it again, I click Edit Scene, and I can bring this back in the position of where I want it. It's a little dodgy if you start getting stuff larger than the screen is, but you'll learn how to manage it. So let's say I want to do a split screen. I'm going to put this right there, and I'll lock that in. Now let's add another one. I want to add a web page, so I'm going to select Add, Window Capture. And again, I'm going to brighten it up to about 125. It don't have to be exact. So select OK. And now I have this one, but I want to move it around a bit. So I'm going to select it, move it over here, make it smaller. Now, also I want to make some edits to that. So, we go here, and we select Properties, I want to make the Opacity 35%. Now it's kind of a faded out. Okay. Now here are some examples of how you can... Uh, adjust the settings to better suit your uh, stream. In the next one we will work on uh, overlays and uh, transparencies and how to incorporate them into your stream. I hope this has helped you in um, allowing you to have a better streaming experience. Um, have a nice uh, stream. Goodbye.